What is up you guys? It's Jessica and you might be wondering what in the world just happened on the beginning? That's okay. We're gonna go over that in two seconds. But first what this video is it is going to be a boxycharm based box uh, subscription box versus the ipsy glam bag plus if you guys are excited to get into these two subscription boxes and you're enjoying while you're watching give this video a thumbs up it helps me out tremendously over here on youtube and don't forget to hit the little subscribe button that way you can join our youtube fam where we upload new videos every monday wednesday and friday all right so now you guys are probably wondering what in the world what did you put in your coffee well to keep my nail skin and hair healthy all throughout the year i've been adding a scoop of collagen into it so in each scoop there's 10 grams of pure collagen and they are non-GMO wild-caught marine collagen, and it is exclusively from codfish scales. I know it sounds kind of repulsive. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit kind of... But this, you guys, I'm not... It, it's, this stuff works. My nails are so frail and brittle, and they just... I honestly, you can't really see it, but I can just bend my nails, and they won't break or anything, but they're just... They bent, but I've been using this for the past week now, and it I can feel the difference in the strength of my nails, and it I've only been using it for a week. So, and not to mention, I mean, look at my hair. My hair is so shiny. I love it. You do not have to put this in your coffee. Um, it it doesn't add any additional flavor, in my opinion. It doesn't, but you. This is a specifically a smoothie mix-in. However, you can put it in your coffee, your teas, or what else does it say on here? Oh, and water. I don't know if I just put it in my water, but I put it in my coffee. There's no additional flavor to it or anything. I just put my cream sugar like normal. If you drink it black, let me know if you do try it and it has a little bit of a taste. It doesn't even really smell. It's just, it's just purple. <laughs> That's another reason why I like it. But if you would like to try this or have any of their other wellness products, they have a protein, like a, you know, the protein shake, not shake, powder, <laughs> which that is really good. It doesn't have that like yucky protein aftertaste that most, most do. I, that's mostly why I don't drink protein drinks because I do not like that aftertaste. Or I've tried their matcha superfood one. That one's really good too. That one you just put into your tea. Or you can make a smoothie out of it and then it's like a smoothie tea. That one, That's actually pretty dang good. But anyways, if you guys would like to try this or any of their other products, you can save 20% using my code URSON20 off of their website of $40 or more. And then a huge shout out again to Teamy Blends for partnering with me on today's video. Now, let's get into the unboxings. All right, guys. So let's get into the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus first. This one is uh, as well as the Boxy Charm Base Box. They're both $25 for a monthly subscription. However, this one you do get the choice of three of your items, and the Boxy Charm you only get the choice of one. So let's get into this one first. And I also believe that your retail value is supposed to be a hundred and I want to say this one's $120 or more, and then this one's $125 or more. I mean, they're both roughly about the same anyway, so. And, ooh, I like this bag. This bag is cute. I went on the back, it says, you're magic. And it's actually, it's got, it's got like little makeup items on here. Like, you got little lips. Uh, looks like a lipstick, a brush, a heart, ipsy, moon, mascara, a compact. That's, <laughs> that's pretty cute and nifty. So here's our card for the month of October. It looks like our theme is your magic. <laughs> and it says hashtag Ipsy magic and save the date. So if you do get Ipsy and you want to be able to customize your own bag, you want to remember November 2nd. That's going to be the date that we all get to customize and choose our three options, choices. <laughs> and there's nothing in here. Well, I mean, there is stuff in here, but it doesn't tell you what's in the your bag or box. Let's go with this guy. Oh, it's something from Tarte. Sample, not for sale. You are not a sample, but I know why they put that on there, so you can't go sell it. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Setting Powder in Translucent. Hold, please. Nope, okay. I have the... I was like, wait, do I already have this? Because that would be kind of sad. I have the um, Shape Tape Powder Foundation, so... Set that over there. So 
This retail value is at $34. So now I'm excited. I have not tried, I've tried a lot of things from Tarte. Next we have something from the, the <laughs> Araceli Beauty. This is the Oz, o, Ojo's <laughs> Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner Duo. And it looks like we get a sharpener. Sorry, I was reading on there. No. But we have chocolate and cinnamon. So, ooh, okay. So it looks like, I don't know if you can tell in here, but this top one's like a matte pencil. And then this one's like a shimmer pencil. And if you saw my finger, I'm sorry. That was gross. I forgot about that. I kind of cut the tip of my nail. Not like the tip, but like the top, I guess, of my nail off last night. I can always use another pencil sharpener because I'm always losing them. My bad. But I'll give you guys some swatches here. And this one is, I'm assuming you're the coffee one, right? No, I mean, does say coffee? Chocolate. <laughs> Ooh. And these are really, really pretty. So this one closest to this is the cinnamon. And then this one over here is the chocolate. I'm excited to have those because I've tried. Now, I don't particularly like that brand's liquid line. Oh, I didn't tell you. And for those set of those two, it is at $37. And the sharpener. So, next we have, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Laboratories Philorgia. It's an oxygen glow eyes. What are you? Oh, it's an eye cream. Um says it's got oxygen releaser and L enzyme and hyaluronic acid. Super smoothing radiant eye cream re revives, moisturizes, and illuminates. I was going to say, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of sad that, yes, the box is this big, but I was going to say that's going to be a huge eye cream. But no, you do just get, actually, no, normally you get about roughly, not normally, I shouldn't say normally, but a lot of my eye creams that I've, tried or received are usually one fluid ounces ounce this is only 0.5 but the retail value of this is 29 dollars all right so next we have oh she's cute it's got the cutest little butterfly on it oh this is from lovecraft beauty and this is the basic rituals eyeshadow palette retail value of this is 35 dollars Oh, it's got the same cute little butterfly. Oh, and it's raised. It's raised on the box, too. I really like the butterfly. The butterfly's cute. <laughs> oh. That is some really dark, smoky, I'm super excited to play with these. So it says not only are these powder shadows super, super saturated, they last for hours without smudge increasing or fallout. And we have one more thing in here. All right, so... It looks like, guys, we have, if I can get them out, a nail duo in top coat. I guess that's top coat. In Unbothered. And this is from Mishisho Beauty. Mishisho. And the two pack is $37. So I'm going to do, we'll do it right here on this. I'm not going to do the, the clear coat. That would, that would just be silly. I can't open it. That freaking hurt. Look how red my hand is from trying to open that. Oh. Were you used? Because there's nail polish all on the outside. Um, I'm still going to swatch it on this paper. <laughs> I've never had a brand new nail polish do that because usually it's brand new and there's not nail polish on the outside. Is this one going to be like that? Nope, I got this one open. That's interesting. Even though I said I wasn't going to swatch it, we're just going to, because I opened it, because oh, it's a pretty color. <laughs> so there is, oh no, oh no, my white, my white balance, but... It's a nice, like, very light, subtle pink color. It just was extremely hard to open. So, that's it for the Ipsy box. 
However, that gives our box a grand total. <laughs> so that gives our box uh, for the, it, well, actually it's a bag. Anyway, so Ipsy's grand total is a hundred and seventy-two dollars and zero cents. So now we get to get into the Boxy Charm box. This is again another twenty-five dollar monthly subscription, and you only get the choice of one item in here. And I believe the retail value is supposed to be a hundred and twenty-five dollars or more. So our card for this month is Candy Shop. <laughs> so this one says save the date. Uh, start your holiday shopping on, oh, the pop-up is November 10th, so, I guess, I don't know, I don't, I, ever since I got a moldy palette, I don't do a pop-up, nope, I'm good, nope, but it looks like I got the variants 30, I don't know if you could see that, but, and then this one does tell us what is all the prices on the you know, this thing. So first in here, this is something from Lexi. So maybe there's brushes in here. Oh, there is. Looks like we got a face set of brushes. So we'll be using these today too. All right, so we got our brow, you know, little spoolie guy. This is a tapered blending brush. This is a lard shader. And then we have a medium angled shading brush and the small like blending brush. So, oh yeah, we have a card. So that, oh, this says create eye-catching looks with a five-piece rolled gold synthetic brush set. The versatility collection includes, I just read those off. <laughs> um, but the retail value of these brushes is $40. So, ooh, we have something from Dosa Colors. And this looks like a concealer. And I got the shade 8 Light. Oh. It is a concealer. So it says Meet Your Hue Concealer. This multitasking full coverage concealer has a lightweight, easy to blend formula. It conceals dark under eyes, circles, blemishes, and other skin imperfections. And the retail value is $24. I want to know what you are. Because it says breakfast in bed. This is from Beauty Bakery. Oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. I have not tried their eyeshadow palettes, but I kind of... Oh, and this one's all dark and smoky colors, too. Beauty Bakery's Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette is a delightful morning melody of saturated mattes and shimmery shadows. This palette is perfect for the classic offie, offie, <laughs> the classic offits to happy hour transitional touch up. And the retail value of this is at $38. You know what I didn't do? I didn't swatch any of the other palettes, so let's swatch these guys. Ooh, are you like an underrated brand? Because I've never used you before, but I mean, um, the mattes are ridiculously soft. Like just swatching them, they were so like buttery in my fingers. But this is a yawning. All right, so yawning. Forehead kiss, which can't really see it's kind of the same as my skin tone uh pajamas i swatched that one kind of bad i'm sorry guys that's what that's that's we're moving on we are moving on then we have french doors boo and boo and a view <laughs> messy hair fresh face cuddle cakes and lazy baby lazy baby didn't really swatch that good either but that's okay um, it was probably me. I just kind of, I it wasn't really a swatch moment. I just swatched them. I'm excited to play with those because, like I said, the even the mattes, they were just so soft and, like, velvety and... I want to know what they feel like. I'm an eyeballs. Alright, so I'm opening this. I'm going to tell you guys what this is. This is a Ace Beauté Drullet Lip Liner. So we got two lip liners from Ace Beauty, or Beauté, and it looks like we got B Peachy and So Gorgeous. I'll give these swatches here. The red one is the So Gorgeous. Whoa. You're, ooh. We may have to just wear the Rare Beauty lipstick with this. Not lipstick, but you know what I mean. 
Ooh, this one matches that one too. So, ironically, these two match both of my Rare Beauty lip souffle things. Because <laughs> I got her, I think it was is Inspire, or I don't know, it's that bright red one. And then I got like a nude, uh, brownish, almost brown like nude color. And that's what these two resemble. So, might be using the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty on our lips today. But, those two little fellies are $16. Oh, cool. If I didn't read that, I wouldn't have known. It's got a sharpener at the base. All right, so lastly, we have something from Sol de Janeiro. This is a lip butter, or like a tinted lipstick thing. What is it? It's a t I can't say that word. A cup you could chew. It's a lip butter. Oh, so it's a very dark kind of looking lip butter. It kind of smells good. Oh, so it's very sheer, I think, if I were to use this with... So there it is right there. If I were to use that with my lip liner, I don't think that's going to work all that well. But the retail value of this is $20. And that gives BoxyCharm's grand total of $138. Oopsie kicked you out of the ballpark. Shouldn't swear. Don't swear, kids. Let's put all this on my face. Let's actually try this lip butter really quick because my lips are kind of feeling... I could taste it. Like, it's not a good taste. <laughs> so, we're not going to be trying out the eye cream because I don't need another one open. And we're not going to be really trying out the nail polish because, well, you, you got to swatch. Yeah, you got to swatch. It's good enough. So, that lip butter, it, yeah, it's a lip butter, I guess. I did not like it. So, I'm going to try using this concealer as a foundation because it actually is oxidizing so i don't know if you can actually see that i might zoom it in but it definitely is oxidizing so you're going to try it uh, maybe not oxidizing enough <laughs> but i can definitely tell you guys that it is giving me a really nice coverage so actually let's also prime our eyes with it and maybe add a little bit more underneath. Now we get to try on our setting powder. So for SMGs, guys, we're gonna use the actual little puff that it came with. It's got one of those like meshy things. Where you like you press down and then you get some powder. Are you broken? I'm barely getting anything. I'm gonna also set my eyelids because why not? I kind of like this. I'm just using what they gave me, okay? Alright, so really quick, I'm just going to finish the rest of my face, and then I'll come back, and we're going to use these two eyeshadow palettes. So, once my face is done, let's go in with this white, just because I want to use this as, like, a complete white base. So I love when there's a white in here. Oh, you are a nice white. I'm impressed with that. I really, really am. I think I want to use, I don't know, let's use this messy hair as a transition. So I'm just using this brush just to pack this on. Maybe we can deep that up with yawning. Just because I want to see what's going to happen, we're going to add this black. Just so I can see if I can make it that smoky smoke this smoky smoke this that's a really pigmented black too took some of my red away like my brown red not the worst I, the worst thing I've ever done not the best so basically I just kind of sort of did a cut crease with a white shadow 
pink actually let's go with we got red we'll do the shimmer but nope but we'll do what's called carl cakes now yeah, these shimmers really want to go over that white <laughs> so none of the shimmers out of the beatery beater out of the beauty bakery palette wants to go over the uh base or the left crack beauty white I can't miss him. I just, I really, really hate dipping my wet brush into my shadow because I hate getting hard pan. Even though I know how to get rid of hard pan, you take a piece of clear tape over it and you, it's just a pain in the rear end and I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just wish the shimmer would be this metallic wet looking without ruining the actual, yeah. So unfortunately, that's what we had to do. But I will give this company, Beauty Bakery, they do have some really pretty shimmers when they are wet. Alright guys, I'm going to finish my eyes off camera. No, wait, wait, wait. We can use these really quick. Um, let's do chocolate on the upper lash line and then we'll do um cinnamon on the lower lash line actually you guys don't need to see me do this so i will see you guys after i do the rest of my eye makeup and wrap this video up i forgot i had the lip liners and then the, uh, i did the eyeliner and the lip liners off camera because i didn't thank you guys uh, yeah, my bad. Alright, you guys, so here is the completed look using all the items I could out of the BoxyCharm base box and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for October 2020. <laughs> um, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys like it by giving this video a thumbs up. What was your standout product in either of these boxes? For me, it would definitely have to be this concealer because I love the way that it looks as a foundation on my face. The other standout I would have to say is the shimmer shades and the Beauty Bakery palette. But the only sadness for me, I guess sadness where I can go with it, is that I have to wet my brushes. And I don't particularly like doing that because I don't just, I don't like doing that to my poor palettes. They're, they're, they're typically expensive and I don't want to ruin them. The, this, this was probably kind of a fail. I did not like the way it smelled. It tasted pretty kind of awful. It smells a little bit too much like butter. Um, so other than that, uh, oh, the eyeliner pencils, these were phenomenal because they were super creamy and soft and you can't really tell because I put black eyeliner on, but I like them. <laughs> it's a hard call uh, to say who actually won this month. Ipsy did have a higher retail value, but I believe BoxyCharm had more useful, usable? <laughs> usable items for me. Uh, so I'm going to have to say BoxyCharm won this one. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Also, do you like this look? I kind of do. I really like the shimmer. It's cute. <laughs> and we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this HD Glam Bag Plus versus the BoxyCharm Base Box Unboxing. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to join our little YouTube fam over here. There should be something you can just click right here. Just and it'll take you to the subscription page. And then I also want to give a special thank you to Teamy Blends for partnering with me on today's video. And if you guys want to binge watch some more videos, you can just go ahead and click one of these. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.